The union doesn't run on dues. That's why I mentioned Players Inc.'s record success this year and, and continuing success. It's, it's, it's that important. We're able to take the dues and put it away into an investable war chest for work stoppage. Players Inc. is able to fund the operations of the union. They're able to fund the employees, the building, everything that goes along with that so that we can take those dues and do other things with it and to invest it and make sure that that's there for us when we need it. We are the only sports union that's fully run by Players Inc. And when you talk to the NBA Players Association, the Major League Baseball Players Association, the Hockey Association, I will promise you that each and every one of them want to have an operating Players Inc. the way we do. So one of the things that we're going to be thinking about in the next collective bargaining agreement that probably doesn't make a lot of, of, um, of news is what rights may we want to be bringing back to the player side where we currently share them with the National Football League.